All right, Shalom. This is Harawan Ban Yasha'Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kal Halayim, La Yahawah, Bahashim Yahawah Shai, Bahashim Harakakodash, Ma'ama, double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwadim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, I want to go into this topic dealing with um, China's recent unveiling of their. Uh, Dong Fang uh, 41 missile on uh, October 1st, which was the 70th, 70th anniversary of um, China's regime. Now, um, I did a lesson on it the other day, but uh, something caught my eye this morning as I was doing my studying on this topic. Now, if you read right here, see that? I know, I know a lot of you brothers out there recognize uh, the terminology. So I'm going to get into it because this is all prophetic. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, has kept his promise as from the beginning and has brought forth an instrument for his work, man. And, um, and his work is going to be what? The destruction of America. All right, destruction of Babylon and judgment upon the wicked. All right, this is um, Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, right? So the age and the age and time that we're in, um, there's prophecies that go according that go according to each age. When we were in 2000, uh, 2000 years ago, there were prophecies that were set up for that age, such, such as 70 AD, you know, and things like that. And how was I showing up and the disciples and all these things? But now you have the prophecies that were spoken back then, uh, uh, speaking out today. All right. They're actually um, manifesting today. And when we see these signs, they let us know what time we're in, the time of deliverance and the time of judgment. All right. So it says what? And when thou seest part of the signs past, and that's how you've been hearing about lately. The sign of, of, of a, reception, a recession, signs of war, all right, which I have told thee before. So the Lord told us about all of this from the beginning, his words, mighty words spoken from the beginning and it's being manifested before our eyes, man. He said, he's going to turn back our captivity before our eyes. And he's doing it, man. All right. Then shalt thou understand, and that's what we're doing today. We understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when thou shalt see earthquakes and uproars of the people in the, in the world, then shalt thou understand, well understand, that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Matter of fact, it says, for like all, as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. See that? So the end, the end is being manifested. Why? Because the Lord leaves things in his natural, in his course that he set. And then when he ready to bring his prophecies about, that's when he sent his angels to change everything. And that's what we've been seeing. We've been seeing all these nations come together change their attitude toward their angle towards each other preparing their nuclear arsenals pointing them at each other all these different things man it says even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs all right this is one of those uh, signs right here the DF-41, called the Dong Fang 41, DF-41, CSS uh, X-10, simplified Chinese 41, traditional Chinese, literally, check this out, it means East Wind 41. Now that's prophetic, man, coming from the East. And the scriptures say he's going to... Um, uh, make way for the kings of the east, right? Now, 
um, talking about China, Russia, Iran, all these nations that's going to go up against the land, the land of Israel. And ultimately, those same nations are going to go to war against America and Babylon. Now, this missile here can reach all the way to the shores of any part of America. It can dig into the heart of this place. So, um, and it can be shot out of missile silos from the ground or from launch pads. So that's the one that the Bible is talking about. Those type of missiles, ICBM missiles. All right, the arrows of the Bible to come out of the silos, the belly of the ground, or out of the damn submarines. All right, it says, uh, so the east wind, man. Now, China has named all their missiles. The ICBMs, damn near, all of them are named the East East Wind. Because that's what the word Dong Fang means. If you look up their missile arsenal, they have DF before most of them. DF-21, DF-41, right? That means East Wind 41. It says this, is a Chinese solid-fueled, a uh, road mobile intercontinental ballistic missile may go from one country to another. The missile reportedly capable of reaching the contiguous United States within 30 minutes. There you go. That's at 30 minutes. Within 30 minutes, it can reach America. That's before you get time to get in the car Run, um, throw your shit on, run outside, get in the car, and try to haul ass. That should be hitting the ground. Was officially unveiled at the China Day Military Parade on October 1st, 2019. So it was officially unveiled, man, because that, that lets you know what time we're in. The Lord is manifesting his prophecies, his signs, man. As a child is born, like a child being born, you see the head come out first, then the neck, then the body, and all that. And once it's out, it's going to push all the way out. That's what's about to happen. And we're seeing it. This is Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon. Babylon is America today. And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. So that's that wind that he's talking about. A destroying wind. That's a nuclear blast. That's the main thing that destroys you, destroys a person or an a, 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 um, area from the missile. Besides the fire or the impact, it'll be the blast. All right. That's what um, nukes are known for. That heat, that blast, that radiation. All right. It's going to burn everything, man. Disintegrate it. What you call a mushroom cloud. And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about so as america's falling all these nations going to be against her round about all right shooting missiles at this place um now let me get this real quick the dong Feng 41 or df-41 China's most advanced intercontinental ballistic missile. It's 16 and a half meters long and it's mounted on a 16 wheel transporter erector launcher. Now, with a range of at least 12,000 kilometers and up to a reported 15,000 kilometers, this means that China can strike any target on the U.S. mainland. Now, in comparison, the U.S.'s military LGM 30 Minuteman missile has a range of 13,000 kilometers and Russia's RT-2 PM-2 Topol M, 11,000 kilometers. Also, while the US and Russian ones carry just one nuclear warhead, the DF-41 is capable of a payload of 10 nuclear warheads, each of which can- Right, America has one nuclear warhead inside their missiles. China has 10 nuclear warheads inside their missiles. They got your 200 million uh, uh, missiles, uh, unless they're talking about the actual missile itself. And then you have the, um, the the warheads on top of that. So however it is, it's going to uh, um, add up to 200 million missiles, giant, big-ass missiles hitting America. Be aimed at a different target. Now, it says to have an accuracy of capable of a payload of 10 nuclear warheads, 
each of which can be aimed at a different target. Now it says to have an accuracy of 100 to 500 meters and travels at 25 times the speed of sound. Now the DF-41 is also said to be highly mobile. The U.S. Department of Defense says it can be fired from a silo-based platform or from a rail mobile. This is Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. All right, now, the reason um, the Lord's not destroying everything yet is with the nuclear blast, with that judgment, the second death, is because um, he's, he's uh, waking up the elect. All right, he's sealing the elect, man. His children. And that's why if you're in this truth, you should be thankful, man. You shouldn't walk away from it. I saw another angel ascending from the east. All right, so that's where everything's going to really kick off at, in the middle, what they call the Middle East, or what's really called just the east. All right, there's no such thing called the Middle East. It's just the east. Then you have the west. All right. Um, ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. So the angels are going to be sent out to bring about um, Yahweh's prophecies, man. Yeah, right? Yahweh by Shemel Shai's words. You know, and, and, and um, so that way the course of life won't just keep going. At, you know, the way the Most High said it in order, he's going to stop that and bring his prophecy, the thing he spoke from the beginning. So he has everything in his natural course. All right. It clearly says, man, um, if I can find that scripture, if not, I'll do a lesson on it later. But it's one that says um, everything continues uh, uh, as it, as it, you know, um, speaking of non verbatim, um, it, it continues as it were, and he, the Lord does not bother or disturb it. All right. I'm <clears throat> probably mangling the words, but you get my point. He, he's not going to disturb it until he sends them angels to trouble the waters. All right. So everything is on his um, on his course. You know, America's building up his wickedness. Everything's going as the Most High has set it to be. But at some point, he's going to stop it when it meets a certain measure or a level. All right. So Revelation 7 and 2, and I saw another angel ascending from the east. Look at that, you know, dealing with the east wind. Because Yahweh Shai is uh, going to be um, in the midst of those missiles that come that fly from the east. That fly through the earth and that fly outside of the earth, out of the, what you call the, um, the windows of heaven. All right. They, they fly out of the <clears throat> out of Earth's atmosphere and back in to the Earth's atmosphere, and it falls upon the the ground or they blow up in the sky, and they disintegrate anything under it. Or if it hits the ground, you have a mushroom cloud. All right. Um. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the service of our power in their forehead. So that's the only thing holding that east wind back, keeping China from destroying this place, America, is uh, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim al All right? When he's ready to destroy it, he can just change everything, uh, put the thoughts in uh, these heathens' minds to, to bring about Yahweh's prophecies, his will. All right, Matthew 24 and 27. Remember, it was talking about the angel coming from the east. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right, so uh, in the midst of those missiles, Yahweh Shah is going to show up, man. What do you know? Isaiah 13 and 5. They come from a. They come. From a far country, I'm talking about the missiles, from the end of heaven, all right, in the east, even Yahweh by Shem Shai and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. 
All right, so they're going to destroy the whole land. There's going to be a sweeping um, wind or fire that goes across America, and it's going to come from these missiles that you see. Isaiah 14. Um, what's the lock? Yep, 22. And, uh, I'm going to start from 22. Isaiah 14 and 22. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon, that's America, the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith Yahweh. So anybody that's in this place, they're going to be destroyed. Them and their families. All right, the Lord don't care, man. He's no respect of a person when it comes to judgment. He's going to destroy this place. Same way he had a judgment during the flood. The Lord has a, a indignation against these, uh, uh, these, these people. It says, um, I will also make, I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water. And that's what you call, um, uh, a swamp. It's going to be a lake of fire, man. Everything's going to be fucking melted. You're going to have houses, um, um, buildings left vacant, just, you know, just disintegrated and shit and still partially standing. You're going to have aisles and, and comorants swimming around, all these swamp animals. You know, it's going to be left. It's going to be like a desert, a deserted area, man. No, but death. So it says this, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction. So you're going to sweep across America with the besom of destruction. All right. Say if you're Howell of hosts. All right. Because that word um, besom, it says, I will, I will make it a possession for the bittern. The bittern is basically certain type of fowls or birds. It's going to be left here after the destruction. All right. And pools of water. And I will. Right. If you see um, a bomb hit a building, the main thing you see is water everywhere. Right. And you see the place all mangled and destroyed. It says pools of water. And will sweep it with the besom of destruction. Say if you how of armies of hosts. Now that besom, it means a broom. So you're going to sweep across America, man. And sweep up the dust with the fire. It's going to be a clean cleaning agent. That's the best cleaning agent, fire. And Yahweh of armies have sworn, saying, uh, Yahweh of hosts have sworn, saying, surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. 